Reassembling the Scarecrow Several of my neighborhood friends embarked on a group date the other day for lunch and a movie, Oz the Great and Powerful. It was a very enjoyable romp through a seamless continuation of the Oz world created by Frank Baum and famously unleashed upon the world in the 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz. I personally was relieved that the 2013 movie was not a cynical, dark, overly polarized version that Hollywood seems to think sells. Yes, the characters are one-dimensional and the drama is milk toast, but hey, it's Oz, people! <laughs> And it was particularly fun in 3D. Lately, I've been continuing my adventure with certain pain issues, and in my quest, I returned to a shaman friend of mine for some craniosacral therapy and her unique brand of seeing. After the session, I suddenly saw myself as the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz during the scene where he's been attacked by the flying monkeys and ripped apart. They took my arm and they threw it over there. They took my legs and they threw them over there. The spiritual metaphor for me is how the soul can also get ripped apart, leaving a part in 1980 trauma, 1993 ecstasy, or a 2001 earthquake, or even in past lives. Over-identification with traumatic or dramatic events can stick attention, preventing fully coming into the present time. My intention for the shamanic session was to retrieve my creative center, which I felt had been scattered. It has been like having all the equipment to create a painting, but the brushes are in the bathroom, the canvas is under the bed, and the paints are in the garage. But you don't know that, so when inspiration strikes, there's no way for it to express. I said to my shaman friend, I feel like I have an entire warehouse of ammunition, but nothing to fire it with or at. Many of the processes or life lessons I've gone through and end up being about freeing unconscious attention from some past event where I was deeply affected, but I didn't realize it. I usually spot a sort of disconnect between outward and inward experience. It is as if one movie is playing out within me while another one is playing outside of me. This is the realm of the ego and its trusty cohort, the mind. All the socialization, past judgments, and past decisions about how life is all go into this inner movie we, we, we mistakenly call life. Sages through the ages have all told us that life itself is without judgment, without decisions about what is right and what is wrong. These are all entirely human created, and it all rolls into one big common movie we call Life on Earth. Can we truly know what reality is? Yes. Just by being aware of the question, it proves that it is knowable. The thing is, we get so distracted because, as in the scarecrow, they threw my arm over there and they ripped my leg off and threw it over there, that we think that that is what life is all about. In this episode of The Scarecrow for Me, I did retrieve arms and legs and my creative center, and I gained a new mindfulness about where my mind automatically goes in the course of any given day. Where does my attention go? How do I feel when it goes there? By paying attention, more of the self is retrieved and now available to pour into the beautiful artwork we all can be creating called life. This is Boyd Martin signing off for the Vibrant Living Newsletter. <laughs> This has been Inside Out There, a Mystic Broadcast Network production produced in affiliation with Subtle Energy Solutions and the Vibrant Living Newsletter. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay informed about new episodes and visit us at www.subtleenergysolutions.com where quantum physics meets personal health care.